So we need to write a print method. It's in the int tree class, as the notes say. This is acting weird. Oh well. All right. So we're in protective view. Whatever. Okay. So I'm in the int tree client right now, uh, and that's where the error is. So one way to write the print method is to deal with the error and just do the uh, create method suggestion and it's going to put it into int tree. So now I can go into int tree. Well, let's go ahead and do that with the contains method as well. All right, so that just edited int tree and it put two new methods down here. All right, so what's print supposed to do? It shouldn't throw an exception. Oops, out. Let's just print three zeros for fun. Uh, contains should be a boolean. Uh, so I'm just going to return false. Obviously, these are not complete. Uh, and these probably should be public. All right, I'm not going to worry about contains. I'm only going to worry about print for now. Let's look and see what the notes say, what to do next. All right, a node's left subtree should be printed before it, and its right subtree should be printed after it. Example, tree.print. All right, this is also supposed to be a public-private pair. Uh, and now it looks like this is frozen. Okay, so it should be a public-private pair. Here's the public void print. Now we're going to have a private one. And I think I'm going to have to stop this video to fix that PowerPoint. So we'll come back with part two. Uh, and the reason it's complaining is because, yes, they one is public and one is private, so they're technically different, but they have the same signature, which is the same name and the same parameters. They're both print with no parameters, so you can't have that. Uh, and what I know, the print is supposed to also have a int tree node. All right, now we'll get rid of the error, and as to what should this contain, we'll look at that in the next video when I fix the PowerPoint.